Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the two common conceptions with respect to TCP guys. So the first thing is a sin flood attack we'll be discussing and then we'll be discussing when we do retransmission guys because retransmission and sin fold flooding attacks are most common in TCP guys. Okay. So what is a sin flooding attack means? So I think everyone knows the concept of DDoS attack, right? Yes. So it is a nothing but when a particular server, okay, is there so when there are thousands of clients requesting to the server at a single moment of time the server will be busy with these people and it will not respond to others right so that is nothing but ddos attack but there is a small twist here is so all these requests which are coming here are fake guys and these are the original requests so due to these fake requests the server is not able to serve the original request it is not able to fulfill the original request, right? Yes. So that is the problem here. So this concept is nothing but a DDoS attack. So the same concept in flooding. Okay. So one, one or more malicious attackers send a large number of SIN segments to a server pretending that each one of them is coming from different clients by faking source IP address in the datagram. So this is going to congest the server and it is going to lead to multiple problems guys because the server will not respond for others and it will be busy in just digesting the same data again and again and again, right? Yes. So that is the major disadvantage with respect to sin flooding attack. Okay. And one more thing is the retransmission. So the concept of retransmission is so whenever a particular segment or a particular frame or a particular datagram is a lost in between of the traveling okay yes so whenever these segments are lost while they are transferring we are going to resend them guys so the concept of resending will be done in two different ways guys so sender discovers that the tcp segment is lost when so there are two cases so the first case is a timeout timer and the second case is a three duplicate acknowledgements okay so i think everyone knows the timeout timer right as we have already discussed it so basically if you recall we know we know that when sender sends a particular file, he will start a particular timer, right? Okay. So this timer will be the maximum timer which he will wait for the acknowledgement to come back, right? Yes. So if that acknowledgement hasn't received in that particular time, we will resend the particular packet. So this concept is nothing but a time out timer. Okay. So when, when, so there is a concept to identify this time guys. So we'll be discussing in that, discussing that how exactly this timer will be predicted in the next to next lecture guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. So when a sender sends a segment, he starts a timer called as a timeout timer. So if the acknowledgement is not received in the amount of time, retransmit the data, seg data or segment again. So we'll be retransmitting the same data segment again. Got it? Yes. So the second type of retransmission will be occurring whenever there is a two, three duplicate acknowledgement guys. Okay. So here the concept is when you are sending multiple files or multiple segments at the same time. So if there is a, if there is one segment loss, so indirectly that segment information will be sent again, right? So the acknowledgement for that segment. So if you take a small example, so let us assume here. So I sent packet one. Okay, I said it requested for packet two. So it gave the acknowledgement for packet two. Okay, so I, I sent the second packet along with that second packet. I sent a third packet and fourth packet. Okay, so now this packet has been lost in between guys. Okay, so once the third packet has been received, the server or the receiver told, please send the second packet. Once the fourth packet has been received, it again told that the please send the second packet. And again, I sent the fifth packet. Again, it sent that please send the second packet. So here, if you observe, I got three acknowledgements, duplicate acknowledgements so for the same number three, right? Even though my timeout timer is till here, I am going to send the packet again, assuming that my previous packet which I sent is having some issue, like it might be corrupted or it might be lost in between. So this concept is nothing but three duplicate acknowledgements. So because three duplicate acknowledgements have been entered before the timeout timer, we are resending the packet. Got it? Yes. Okay. So now let us go through the theoretical part. Okay. So if a sender receives three duplicate acknowledgements for a TCP segment, Okay, sender, send by sender, if they, if these three acknowledgements are received before the timeout timer, okay, then instead of waiting for the timeout timer, we immediately send the segment. Got it? Yes. So now I hope everyone got the idea about retransmission as well as the sin folding attack, right? Sin flooding attack, right? Yes. So 
in this lecture you should be 100% clear about retransmission guys because these two concepts of retransmission will help in many kind of numericals okay yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture we'll be discussing the concept about congestion control guys so how we are going to control the congestion okay so there are total three different steps which we will be following so we'll be discussing them in the next lecture okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you